as you can see, I've been grocery shopping. I haven't brought you a grocery haul for quite a while, and we were just out of everything, so I thought I would show you what that looks like for us. But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, hit that subscribe button and double tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, as you can see, I am surrounded by grocery bags. My hubby brought everything in and just set them up here on the counter, set them in the sink, set them on the stove, just to get them out of the car. And now I'm going to get things unpacked and put away. And I thought I would do the perishables or the frozen foods first. And I thought I'd let you see what we get. So one of the things that I always like to get are these CPAC coconut shrimp. They're really good. I always get the family size because the two of us tend to eat a whole one. And they were on sale for a dollar off, so I picked up two of those. And then the other things that I got were these little Lunchables. And they're just like turkey and cheddar with crackers. And one of them, well, they happen to have cookies in with them also. But I got these for my husband. So on the days that he works, he can just take one of these along with them and just have something to snack on real quick. Um, something that's nutritious. So there are those. And I also had to visit the meat and seafood counter at Kroger. And I went Kroger, and that's where I always go when I'm getting my groceries. I like to go to Kroger. And they had catfish fillets, $6.99 a pound. So I called home to tell the hubby about that, and so he wanted me to get two pounds. Well, then when I got home, then he decided to run out and get some more. So now we have four pounds of catfish fillets and what he'll do is separate them out into like individual servings and put those in the freezer so we've got some catfish fillets there and then they also had country style pork ribs on sale so I picked up just four of those just enough for one Sunday meal so I've got some country style pork ribs here and then they also had some maple brown sugar bacon and the bacon just looks so good. I haven't been buying bacon lately, so I just bought six strips, just enough for one Sunday breakfast. So these are the things that needs to go in the fridge pretty soon. I also got a DiGiorno Supreme Pizza. And I got the pizza in case we wanted to have it for lunch or for a Friday night supper or something like that. Sometimes if I don't feel like cooking a big meal, or for a big lunch, this little pizza will do the trick. I'm going to make Purdue chili for dinner today. And I have a cousin who has been in the hospital and just came home. So I'm going to make a really huge pot of chili and take some over to her. So I got um, a pound of fresh ground turkey as well as... Two pounds of lean ground beef, and I'll use that for the chili. I got some Hillshire Farm smoked sausage, and Hillshire Farm is delicious. I like that brand and then the Eckridge brand. I really like the Hillshire Farm brand as well. Going to be making some more mac and cheese, so I picked up some Gruyere macaroni, some Gruyere cheese, as well as some white sharp cheddar. So there's those things. And then I always have to get pears, fresh pears for when I'm making smoothies and then my husband just likes pears to eat. So I got those. And take a look at these. Now these are really kind of cool. Parsnips. I thought I'd like to make some parsnip soup. So I bought two parsnips. Either that or roasted parsnips, we'll see, but I got some of those. And then I got a red cabbage. There was a recipe for a beef vegetable salad in our Weight Watchers Weekly. 
and I think beets. So I googled to see what you can sub the beets out for and it said red cabbage or carrots. So I got this red cabbage and it's going to be perfect in that dish. And I'll show it to you when I make this. And then I had to get some milk and uh, he likes the silk almond milk so I picked that up. I'll use the coconut milk when I want it for coffee or things like that. But I'll also drink the almond milk so we'll have that. And since I am trying to cut down on my calories, I got the Simply Light Lemonade. It's only 25 calories per serving. I've not tried it before. I usually get the uh, Simply Lemonade, the regular version, so we'll see how this works out. So there's that. So, let me get these things put away and then I'll show you some more of the perishable or refrigerator items. Hang on. So I got those things in the fridge and then these are some of the other perishables or refrigerator food. So let me show you these and then I'll get these things in the fridge and then I'll show you our dry ingredients. So one of the things that I wanted to be sure to get was this Activa yogurt because I just really like the strawberry and the blueberry and it helps with digestion. So I got some of that. So I got some of this Simply Orange orange juice and I got the calcium, vitamin D and pulp free and I got two containers of that and this will last us probably all week if not into next week. I was out of celery because I used so much of it for the Thanksgiving holiday cooking so I needed to get some more because I use it all the time. And then of course bananas. Well, I always have to buy bananas and I felt the bananas turning yellow while I stood in the grocery line. And then I got some lemons. These lemons are huge but they just looked so nice. So I got four lemons. You always need lemons. And then I also picked up some turnips. I'm going to make some cabbage this week and I like to put turnips in the cabbage or I might make collard greens but I always like to put turnips in there so they add such a nice flavor. So I got some turnips and then I got these orange, yellow, and red peppers for cooking, different things. Of course, you always have to have carrots, and these are the whole carrots, and they're organic, so I got some of those. I got some apples. My husband loves apples. And since we've both been trying to eat healthier, he'll take the little apple slicer and uh, make some apple wedges out of them and eat them that way. So there are the apples. Had to get a bag of onions. We were out of those. And I'm going to make some maple butternut squash. So I thought I'd pick up one of those. A couple of cucumbers. Kroger's had red raspberries, four for five dollars. So I just picked up two packs of those. I got some baby spring mix for salads and I always like this different combination of the greens and the red lettuces and those kinds of things. Two dozen eggs. And they had this International Delight Creamer on sale. So this one is the white chocolate raspberry and I just thought, oh my goodness, gotta give it a try. And then of course my usual caramel macchiato. So I got that. So these are the refrigerator items. So now let me get these things into the fridge and then I'll show you our dry goods, our staples. And here's the thing too. I always find that what's a staple, what's an absolute necessity in someone else's home is always a little bit different from what it is in your own home. So I'm just kind of sharing with you what's a staple here in the Jordan household. Oh, I forgot to show you these items here. This is some turkey sausage. It's really good, fully cooked turkey sausage. My husband got some over the holiday and we really enjoyed it. So I, had, so I picked up some more. And then these are just little freezer dinners that we can grab for lunches or in a pinch for dinner. But my husband likes to have something hot sometimes for lunch, so this works out. I got two of these little uh, cafe steamers, two of the 
honey glazed turkey and potatoes. So we might have these for lunch or dinner ourselves together. Or if I'm out, he might just grab one of them. So I got two of, of each. This is the lemon thyme chicken and it's a paleo bowl. And the nice thing about some of these is like they're just quick and just have a little bit of a side dish with them and you've got a nice little lunch or meal going on. So I like to keep these kinds of things in the freezer so that if I'm out or push comes to shove, we need a quick lunch, we can grab one of those. So now let me get these in the fridge or freezer and I'll come back with staples. And now here are our dry goods. You guys probably thought this grocery haul would never end. But like I said, we were out of absolutely everything. So I'll just start on this end. So we haven't had any crackers for a while. So I picked up a box of these short stack Ritz crackers. And they're always good for all different kinds of things. So we like those. And then of course, saltine crackers. The Zesta Original Saltine. So I got some of those. I love to have these Thomas English muffins for breakfast, particularly with orange marmalade or plum jam with coffee in the morning. And then I picked up these jalapeno cornbread muffins because I'm going to make chili for dinner and I thought these would be great with that. And then some cream cheese muffins. You can see there's one out already. The hubby's gotten into them. So he could have those for breakfast. And then he likes this rice. When he's making dinner, he likes this rice that you can just pop it in the microwave and cook it in 90 seconds. So we get, we've got the Uncle Ben long grain ready rice. And then this one is the Spanish style. This one is the roasted chicken. The whole grain. The red beans and rice original white rice as well as garden vegetable. So we eat a lot of rice here in our family. So there are those. And then I love to get these Essen House noodles. I usually get the wide noodles, but I made turkey noodle soup the other day and I used the wide noodles and wished I would have had some of the thinner ones. So I'm probably gonna be making some more soup. And so I got the thinner noodles, more suitable for soup with this one, but these Essen House noodles, this is the Klusky brand, are delicious. So there are those. I was out of coffee, so I got um, the um, McCafe uh, decaf. It's pretty good. And then, of course, I got my Starbucks uh, medium roast house blend decaf as well. So I got three of those. I'm thinking maybe y'all ought to go back to a regular coffee maker because I don't know, this can be a little pricey. I'm gonna be making some more mac and cheese. So I got a couple boxes of creamettes. And you saw the cheese I had gotten earlier. Breakfast cookies. My husband likes the um, soft baked banana bread cookies and I like the cranberry orange uh, to have in the mornings with coffee or as a snack. So you can take these in his pocket to work if he needs something that's a quick snack. Hot cereal, cream of wheat, I call it porridge when the grands are here. They love for grandma to make porridge. And then of course, your regular oatmeal. So some maple brown sugar, instant oatmeal. Three packets of chili seasoning mix, and this is just the McCormick's original chili seasoning mix. And like I said, I'm making chili for dinner. And then we also like to have raisin bran in the morning sometimes. And I like the raisin bran crunch because I don't like soggy cereal. And then of course your frosted mini wheats. Got a loaf of bread and this is just the white pan bread. Nothing special, it's a whole grain bread. Some pita chips. Stacy's fancy pita chips. And I've got some bean dip here for the hubby. And I thought those could work with, so that's so why I got that. And then I got a jar of this chicken base, and um, you can use a teaspoon of it, like if you needed bouillon or something like that, here's just a teaspoon of this, and it works just great. So I got this chicken base. And then the hubby likes this uh, V8, and so I get the low sodium V8 juice for him, the small cans. And then he likes to use these Andy's fish breading. So he'll use one red and one white or one red and one yellow. So we got two packs of this red and then two packs of this 
he guessed this is the yellow, and then he mixes them together somehow to come up with his breading. Don't ask me how, because I don't know. I don't cook that. There's that. Needed some Ziploc bags for storage. So here's some freezer quart size, some little freezer containers, one cup size, hefty freezer gallon size bags, and then just some off brand gallon size storage bags. Crest toothpaste and then crest toothpaste. So just kind of staples there, things that we needed. Sugar. Toilet tissue. And then I needed some red gold diced tomatoes. And I always buy red gold. I used to always get hunts, but one of my friend's husband was working for red gold. And so because he worked there and I wanted to support them, I started buying red gold. So now I always buy red gold brand. So red gold diced tomatoes. And then I got some black beans. I'm probably going to use one of these cans of black beans in the chili as well as some garbanzo beans. I'll use one can of garbanzo beans in the chili. And then some Brooks chili beans. Brooks chili beans are amazing and I always use those in the chili. And then I got a couple cans of soup if the hubby just wanted to grab something or I wanted to grab something quick, there's soup for that. Needed some ketchup, so I like to get the Heinz ketchup in the little jar that you can just kind of, or rather should say the bottle, you can hold it up that way. And then some just classical pasta sauce. And I think, ha, that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. I just really wanted to show you what it looked like for us when I haven't been shopping in a good three weeks. And this will last us a couple of weeks and even longer for some of the items because I did get some staples that are gonna be around for a while. So tell me which one of these items that I got that you thought was most interesting. Tell me in the comment section below, like you're thinking, that's a staple. So I want to know what your thoughts are in regards to that. And be sure to check out my holiday entertaining playlist, as well as my homemade cranberry sauce, because as we move into the Christmas holiday, you're going to be wanting homemade cranberry sauce on your table. I've also got a shop with me where I went shopping at Pure One. Be sure to check that out too. It was just a lot of fun. And just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home for more than 45 years and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I got to put these groceries away. So I will see you next time.